morning. Happy November. You join me this morning as I make breakfast for Alfie and I, popping some tomatoes in the oven. You have to excuse what I look like. I've literally just got up. <laughs> popping some tomatoes in the oven. I'm gonna boil some eggs and do a bit of sourdough and then all the balsamic and all of the oh my god mind blank smoked paprika i'm just obsessed with it at the moment and i like putting in a little bit more time in the morning to do a nice breakfast start the day off right so that is what that is what i'm doing at the moment Not the best start, one of the eggs was already cracked, which I didn't know about <laughs> until I put it in. Oh well, <laughs> I'm assuming it'll still boil okay. I'm doing five minutes because they've been in the fridge. Um, a lot of you ask me uh, how long I put my eggs in for when I do this. Um, and it's usually about four and a half minutes if they've been at room temperature, but if they've been in the fridge a teeny bit longer, and then you're gonna want a bowl of cold water to put them straight in once they're done so they stop cooking before you take the shells off. Is that, he's coming right out. Oh no, he's not. Sorry, this is not as good as it usually is. There's yours. Okay, Here we go. Thank you. That is, that's exactly how I like it. That's a perfect egg right there. Happy breakfast. <laughs> Happy breakfast. So I got dressed, sorted myself out, put a bit of makeup on, and I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely been doing less of this, this lockdown than the one before. I just have not been feeling very motivated um, the last couple of weeks. I felt very like energy zapped and unmotivated and I don't feel Christmassy enough and I'm constantly comparing the fact that I'm not really doing anything like in a way of creativity compared to so many others. And I go on my Instagram, I'm like scrolling through all these like really creative reels and IGTVs of everyone decorating their houses for Christmas and Christmas baking and Christmas decorating and Christmas DIYs. And I'm just like, uh. <laughs> And I know that this is one of the things that was discussed so much when we talked about Digital Detox Day and the use of social media and how comparison can play such a huge part in your mental health and how you feel about yourself. And I think the fact that my energy just feels quite low in general and I just feel really unmotivated and like I'm kind of stuck and I don't know how to like get myself into the rhythm of like getting stuff done. When I'm scrolling through Instagram, I'm like, oh my God, I just feel so rubbish. And I know there's gonna be a lot of you watching this that does feel the same. And I'm also very aware that people could look at what I'm doing sometimes on social media and feel that looking at my content. I'm not saying my content's great or I'm really creative or blah, blah, blah. But you know what I mean? It's like comparison is the thief, thief, thief thief of joy and I just feel like for any of you that needed to hear that today there you go there is no point comparing yourself to others because others will compare themselves to you and it's a vicious cycle and even though I'm looking at these accounts and I'm like oh my god this person has just got their life together they're up at 6 a.m. they've already ticked off like 50 things on their to-do list and they've already created this and done this and they've done a photo shoot for this and look at this amazing video they filmed. There is somebody out there looking at how you live your life doing the exact same thing and I think I need to remember that. Um, and also, just, 
there is no point putting pressure on yourself or feeling bad about stuff like that because it swings and roundabouts and I know I won't always feel this like meh um and I'll get my like burst of energy and like fire up my ass and I'll you know I've got vlogmas coming up so I need to like this motivation needs to come from somewhere because I've got about a week um but yeah I just felt like saying that because I was thinking about it this morning and I I just comparison is just such a thing right now on social media and it can be so detrimental to your mental health and it can just make you feel like the crappest human and I just want to remind you that that is not true if you weren't even looking through social media and you couldn't see what everyone else was doing in their day whether they were ahead of you behind you alongside you everyone is is on a completely different life journey everyone is dealing with things that we know nothing about and everyone is going at their own pace and sometimes that person's pace will be five times the pace of yours and sometimes yours will be five times the pace of theirs and that's just what I'm telling myself every day when I'm scrolling through Instagram and I'm like I need to start my festive content and I've got vlogmas coming up and I just don't feel like I've got the motivation in there it's just laying dormant for some reason um and I just want you to know that you are living your best life and it doesn't matter if that means you have a couple of weeks where you're not really going at a thousand miles an hour. It's dangerous to go at a thousand miles an hour anyway. Nobody wants burnout. But at the same time, you can't really compare journeys. You can't compare lifestyles. You can't compare somebody else's success to your success or somebody else's creativity to your creativity because you are unique and we are all individual and that's what makes us all so great. So there's my little <laughs> pearls of wisdom of wisdom there's my little nugget of wisdom today i hope that makes you feel better if you needed to hear it i needed to say it out loud because i've been thinking it in my head and uh sometimes if you say things out loud <laughs> a you can manifest them more motivation more energy get your ass in gear and b um talking just helps and i've just been saying to alfie the last couple of days like i just feel a bit shit and my mood is down and I feel like I can't get going. And he's like, that's fine. Like, that's just being human. This happens to everyone. It's it's cool. And I was like, yeah, you're right. But speak to somebody, leave a comment. Are you feeling like this? Do you ever feel like this? And it's completely normal. However, I will say, if it is something in your life that is quite big and is affecting you, and you feel like there are a lot of people on social media that are, that are in a stage of their life that you're not in or that you want to be in mute you can mute people um i think comparison on like a small level is manageable and although it can make you feel awful about yourself and really dent your own self-esteem it is super important to realize when that's actually affecting you far far more and the mute button is your best friend and you can always unmute when you feel like you're in a better place unmute carry on enjoying someone's content but don't let it make you get to a point of no return you know don't let it affect you so much that you just absolutely despise yourself because that is just that's not cool and um nobody wants to feel like that so as much as comparison Comparison is the thief of joy. Why can't I say that? Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't let it completely suck every ounce of joy out of you before you make some alterations because that's also very, very important. Okay, moving on. I have, I feel like I'm shouting. <laughs> this is one thing about me. And actually I see it on a lot of those horoscopes that talk about Aries and how that when Aries get really passionate, they they shout. And that is very true for me. If I'm angry, I shout. If I'm upset, I shout. If I'm really excited, I shout. If I get really passionate about something I'm talking about, I shout, I can't help it. Drives Alfie crazy. <laughs> if I'm on FaceTime, I shout. I think sometimes when I'm in a crappy mood, 
if I make more effort with my clothing, with my hair, with my makeup, if I just try and make a little bit more effort, I do generally feel better. Even if it's just marginally, I do feel better. So I would think, right, I'm gonna go to my wardrobe and I'm gonna pick out a really nice outfit and everything in my wardrobe is just really uninspiring me and I'm just looking at everything and I know I like it and I've worn things before and I'll wear them again and I'm just, I'm like, I love that jumpsuit but I just don't wanna wear that today. And I do think part of that is the fact that we're not going out, we're not doing anything, we're not going out for like dinners or meetings or to the garden centre to like have fun. <laughs> can't even tell you how much I want to go to a garden centre with Mark like it's a it actually makes me sad that we're not frolicking around the Christmas garden centres right now <laughs> and I do think that that has impacted it because when I wake up I just want to put on something cosy but just wanted to feel a bit more smart so I was like right I feel like I've not bought as many clothes this year as I normally would because of all the reasons I just said so I'm just going to treat myself and I went online um, and I did that thing when you're in a bad mood and, or a down mood, and you take it out on your debit card. I have some clothes to share with you, um, and I'll do like a little try on, I think, because I'm really excited to do this. I will say a lot of it is loungewear, <laughs> but it's nice loungewear. I just thought I'm going to treat myself to things that I get excited to put on, that are comfy, that I feel good in and that I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. So I'm gonna run and grab my stuff and I think I'm just gonna do it here if that's okay with you. This is gonna be one of those videos where I feel like I'm just mostly sat here. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna put a, a Christmas film on. Princess switched again. Okay, not sure how we feel about this, but let's give it a go. Right. Never fully dressed. Right, this is um, a jumper and trousers. So this is like a loungewear set. But as it is never fully dressed, it was a little more on the pricey side. Very nice quality though. I really liked the colours and I really liked the pattern. So you've got the trousers and the jumper and you're gonna look like a 70s a 70s loungewear dream um let's do and other stories okay oh i think this is a dress oh this is lovely okay so this is a gray knit tight dress um, and it has a tie around the middle. I love dresses like this. I feel like they are so versatile. You can wear these in spring. You can wear these in autumn, winter with boots. You can have some sheer tights underneath, a leather jacket on top, scarf, hat. You can like really dress them up and dress them down. And I just find this style flattering um, in all the right places for me and I'm very happy with that. Is there a little slit up the side? Yeah, nice little slit. Love that. I'm really excited to try that on. Again, very lovely quality. I actually don't know. This feels like this feels like an envelope of nothing. Oh, I ordered some jewellery, did I? <laughs> okay, okay. I love chains like this. Uh, there we go. It's just a little very delicate kind of snake chain, little double chain. I just thought that was really nice and simple. I like that. Back to Zara. Yeah, I just feel like they've really nailed it. I hope you're getting secondhand uh, retail delivery excitement right now. <laughs> I, okay, this has one thing in it. <laughs> so it always looks like I have a lot, but it's just one big thing in a box. I wanted a coat for dog walks, a practical, waterproof, still stylish, something that I can have in my wardrobe year on year and um, it's warm, it's waterproof, dog walkable. A lot of the coats I have are not waterproof, in fact most of my coats are not waterproof at all um, and I only realised this 
uh, once we had all of the rain we've had this year. And I was like, what are you doing? Why don't you have like an actual dog walking coat? You have a dog. You still have to go out and walk it in the rain and you're just gonna get wet. So I saw this on Zara and I just thought, this is so grown up and practical, but still Zara. I really like it. Look at it, you can't see. Warm inside, it has like an inner lining which I think you can take out. Um, it goes right up here, which I also quite wanted. Um, and very practical, we've got a hood. Pockets here, I love being able to go like this, up here, I look like I've got little dinosaur hands. I just love a pocket that's up high. I love it, I don't know why. Zara box number two, which doesn't just have a coat in it. You joined me for, what did Zoe buy that day that she was in a down mood? Oh, oh, already, I just love this. I'm quite fussy when it comes to jumpers. It has to feel cozy, wash well. How do you wash this? I probably should have checked before I bought it. Yep, 30 degree normal wash, lovely and soft. I like this color, it's like an oat. Nice and oversized, lovely drapey fabric. Um, and yes, she did, she got the bottoms to match. Very happy about that. Oh, this is confusing. What's the top and what's the bottom? Look. Oh, oh. Okay, hang on. Does my leg go through that or is that the waist? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the waist. That's quite, that's quite tight. Well, I mean, they seem stretchy, so we'll give them a go. But that waistline looks slightly restricting. Can't be eating any roast dinners in that tracksuit. Oh my gosh. This is so soft. Oh my God, I love this. So this is a um, like jumpsuit slash loungewear romper because I don't think you'd wear this out the house. I think this like is like an in the house. You've just got out the bath and you're gonna go back downstairs and get cozy on the sofa, you know? So it's like this, zip at the back. And then just you just got your trousers. It's, it's essentially an adult baby grow. When I tell you this is the softest thing I've ever felt, I really mean it. Oh my god, I want to get in this right now. What the hell is this made out of? I feel like I I feel like I'm gonna regret only buying one of these because like I'm gonna live in that. This is concerning. <laughs> oh I bought another coat, <laughs> another waterproof coat. Okay, that's what's taken up most of the box. Clearly I'm predicting a cold, <laughs> a cold and wet winter. This one is, again, hello. Oh my God, they're fleece lined, fleece lined pockets. Again, I think I just really liked this coat. Oh, what's this? What is this? What? <laughs> Do you have to strap yourself into this? This is what I like to call a duvet coat. Sleep, it's like a sleeping bag. It's straight up a sleeping bag. I don't know what these are. They, I don't know what this is. Anybody? Anybody know what that, what this is? Okay, well, <laughs> you could strap yourself in. I really like this. I'm happy I bought this duvet coat. I like the color. I thought it'd be nice with a hoodie underneath. Again, on dog walks, or if I find myself needing to camp out. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so I saw Frankie Bridge wearing these on her Instagram, and I was like, I like the look of these trousers because it looked like smart loungewear. And then you want something that makes you feel like you're working from home in your smart cash loungewear, but still like feeling good. And I just, I felt like these were the ones. They've got like a pleat down the middle. I don't know if you can see that because they are actually a bit creased as well. Um, but yeah, I really like these. So it also came with a jumper. 
I actually think Mango has 30% off at the moment too. Mango, is it Mango that has 30% off? I actually can't remember, but they were in the sale. So that's the jumper and then the trousers so you can tuck that in. And then you've got yourself like a smart cash work from home outfit. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure how I feel about the trend right now that is a granddad jumper, a sleeveless granddad vest, that's the one. I think it looks incredible on other people. I just don't know if I can pull it off. I liked this one because they had, on the model, they had this under like a coat. So you couldn't actually, you couldn't tell that it was sleeveless. It just looked really cool like under a jacket because it's got this high neck. Um, it's the softest thing ever, lovely quality. And I just felt like in terms of granddad vests, this one was um, much less daunting for me. And I quite, I quite like this. So I'm gonna see um, what I can style this with. Um, but yeah, I really liked that. That's everything in my giant mango box. Okay. H&M. What do we have here? Little black hat. Love that. Super basic, very soft though. Oh, also got it in grey. I just like H&M for their hats. I think they do great hats. Some jeans. Okay then. Why did I buy jeans, I wonder? I've made a mistake. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate them. I, I seem to have ordered some black mum jeans with um, rhinestones covering them. Ah, do I hate these or do I love them? <laughs> I'm so conflicted. I'm not sure I realised that these were rhinestones. I don't hate it. But I don't think I love it either. It feels like something I would have worn to the school disco in like 1999. But, you know. We'll see. <laughs> I love this. It's a super soft teddy bear hoodie. Oh my god, it's so soft. <gasps> it's soft inside. Oh my god. You know that disappointment when you feel something on the outside and then you go to feel it inside and it's like that like hard plasticky stuff. Well, not here. This is as soft on the outside as it is on the inside. You will find me living in that for the foreseeable future. Another hat. <laughs> Clearly I just thought I'd go for one of every colour. I like this colour though. It's like oh again oat oaty beige um, this is a present for poppy so i don't want her to see that oh these feel nice very like chunky knit this is quite like a hard knit just some gray just some gray joggers very long <laughs> blimey did I get this from the tall section? Oh, okay, so the reason these feel different is because they're made from 64% recycled polyester. Yeah, they do feel, they do feel slightly different, like slightly harder. So I think I liked this color. <laughs> In fact, I know I liked this color. Like a kind of acid wash purple. Then I think this is the polyester top that goes with the trousers. Yep, so this is just a roll neck um, baggy jumper to go with those trousers. Again, I feel like when you're wearing loungewear and you have like a roll neck like this, I just think it like takes it up a level of sophistication. <laughs> I don't know, it's just me. Maybe I'm just looking too much into this because I just now have a wardrobe of um, loungewear, but you know. ASOS, last one. Oh my goodness, so much beige cream and oat. <laughs> another oh okay i love this oh my god i think this might be one of my favorite things in this whole haul so far 
how cute is that collar and on the sleeves and it feels really lovely and like drapey and just this is so cute or am i going to look elizabethan i like this sage green color at the moment oh okay this is very similar to what i'm wearing right now it's a weekday green midi dress nice and tight with a zip down the front i really like this a lot i think this is going to look very cool with boots and a coat another greeny blue item definitely one you have to see on this is from Topshop um, again you've got the frilly collar frilly sleeves frilly bit here I think this would look really cute with like high-waisted jeans potentially oh I don't remember buying this but I quite like it it's just a long sleeve long t-shirt dress by weekday with tie-dye like bleaching on it i just thought this was cool some gold jewelry some boots um so yeah i like that that is everything that i purchased uh the other day <laughs> i'm gonna now go and try some of this on for you i've come up to the spare room and I'm going to try on some of those bits. I probably won't get around to trying everything that I showed on. But I'm going to pick out some like key bits that I'm really, really excited to try. And I'll let you know what I think. Also, I'm so sad that like the light is just disappearing so rapidly. It's like half three and I've probably honestly got about 40 minutes left of light. Outfit numero uno is the never fully dressed um i like this the only thing is i it's quite stiff fabric so i feel like it's very cozy and soft but it's not like slouchy if that makes sense um but i i don't know i do still really like it is this a bit much i don't know but love this this is the mango kind of smart loungewear feels nice fits nice i like this one okay i now have the super soft zara adult baby grow on and let me just point the camera down a bit i <laughs> i like this a lot like i i think this is like my new favorite thing to wear ever however it is very um it's the softest thing i've ever worn maybe you could wear it underneath stuff just as like a warmth layer i kind of love it i i think my bum looks great you obviously can't wear this out and about but to chill in the house or you know to pretend you're a gymnast or something <laughs> i kind of love it okay we now have the and other stories dress which again i love this is really nice i really like this i'm really happy with this 10 out of 10 i love the little tie around the middle i love the length I like that the split doesn't go too high up. 10 out of 10. Favourite thing I've put on so far. I love it. This is the green weekday dress. I like it. Is this colour for me though? I don't know about this colour on me guys. I don't know if this is my colour. Do I wear it all the way up? Or just a tiny bit down? I don't know, I do quite like it. It's quite long. No slits on this one. But, 
still flattering, I think. I just, I think I'm not used to this colour and maybe I need like my hair down and like wavy. You know, and sometimes you put something on and you're like, if I had a different hairstyle, I think I'd like this. Um, but yeah, I do, I do love this. Okay, here we have the H&M, something in my eye. The H&M recycled polyester um, joggers and top, high waisted, which I quite like. Um, I really love the neckline, neck, the roll neck. Yeah, I can't, I just, I, I love this. And you can obviously wear it out as well. Oh, really have something in my eye. Love this. Just a simple H&M tracksuit, but I love this. I love how like baggy the top is and the trousers are really nice. Much thinner in comparison to the one I literally just put on, but I really like this. I feel like this purple is one of my favorite colors. Cool. Okay, weekday dress. I like this. It's very simple. I like the neck's quite high, which I quite like. And the sleeves are quite long, which I also quite like. Just noticed it's got little thumb holes. If that's your thing. <sighs> Okie dokey. Top shop top. Oh, I love this. This is cute. I wasn't sure. But. Yeah. This jumper from ASOS that I loved. I think it's more of a tuck in jobby. Yeah, I actually really like this. This is cute. Okay. I know you're all dying to see the soft teddy bear hoodie. Holy crap. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever worn. It's so soft. I love it. Should I put a coat on on top? This is the mango one. Oh, love that. My little sleeping bag coat. I'm literally ready for a dog walk now. So warm, oh my goodness. I really love this. It's also a great combo. Right, I'm gonna keep this on for the evening because it's currently, what is the time now? Time is now 3.50. I'm crying actual tears. <laughs> reason? It's confirmed that there's another kind of sexy Christmas special. And Alfie's bringing me a wagamama. Guys, can this day get any better? <laughs> so I actually lied a little bit. I got overexcited. <laughs> Is it not? You were crying. I... <laughs> so it is, basically. <laughs> I was vlogging when I listened to your voice note. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so they've said, one of the creators has said that um, it will be back one day. <laughs> How do you think I feel? I was full on crying. <laughs> I've started the princess switch. Switches again. Switch three, two, <laughs> like twice. I'm going to need to start it again because I don't know what's happened in it. And I've been upstairs, obviously, trying on the clothes. Um, oh, Holly, that really excited me. I feel like 2020 needs a Gavin and Stacey Christmas special again. I mean, it's great that they've said it will be back one day. That's still really exciting. I did think, leaving it on the cliffhanger last year, I was like, there's got to be 
they've got to come back now they can't end on a cliffhanger and then never ever um come back right alfie's on his way back with a wagamama which i'm very excited about hey baby hello anyone else's uh pet extra needy i feel like nala's become more needy in this lockdown than in the first one good evening guys um <laughs> my face looks terrifying because i've just put fake tan on um but i realized that i did not end the vlog that i've just finished editing so just jumping on here to quickly say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again very soon